All right, ladies and gents, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games. That's a subscription to Kapla, which Kapla. And tonight we're going to be playing Cognition, the Eric and Erica Reed thriller, episode four, The Cave Killer. This is what we are first time playing it. So, if you want to see how we got to where we are tonight, or check out some of the games I played in the past, be them obscure, usual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. But for tonight, let's get into the game. Emperor, thank you so much for gift sub number one thousand two hundred and thirty-one. Kapla. Now they're going to give a recap of the game, but real quick. We're playing Erica Reed, who is an FBI detective who has the power to look into the past. Last episode, we ran into a girl named uh, Cordelia, who has the power to look into the future, which plays with our power in very weird ways. Um, also, Cordelia is a serial killer, and her brother is the cane killer, so that's a problem. We're going to need to deal with it today. Let's get into it. This music is awesome, by the way, seriously. Previously on Cognition. I'm sorry, Eric. You're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me. You took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. Been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian, he's Karobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us and leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Eric. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things we need to go over first. Dad, I'm so sorry. It's all because of me. Because I couldn't... This will end the way it began. With fire, blood, and tears. Mm -hmm. 
three years ago, the night Scott died. <clears throat> this place is lively. I've seen worse, but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain... Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see... Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. You're right. That's our job. Don't let it go to your head, huh? Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I appreciate the risk you're taking. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. Oh jeez, this is tense. Um... Alright, uh... Let's see, Ryan Frenchman's welcome in! Don't count those chickens yet! Don't do it! And yes, of course, the guy named Scorobius is evil, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's see... What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes, and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. Once for yes, twice for no. Um... Where will I get the information about Kane? He keeps a book at the front desk, a register of all his clients. It's not very organized from what I hear, but you might be able to pick up on something. It's your case, after all. How am I supposed to get my hands on it? That's why it's called Undercover, Agent. Convince him to let you take a look at it. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian Mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed, do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. Erica will soon enter a dangerous confrontation where her choices affect how other characters trust her. Holy shit. All right. Get right into it. A meter shaped like a character's face will display in the bottom corner as you make certain choices. The meter will increase or decrease depending on your choices. The more the meter lights up, the more the character likes and trusts Erica. Oh, this seems tense. This seems tense. McAdams just requested Erica to keep Jetta safe. Your response affects the relationship Erica has with him. I'll do my best. Thank you. By affirming that Erica will prioritize Jetta's safety, you strengthen Erica's relationship with McAdams. Your decisions often affect how characters react to Erica. Sometimes in tense situations, your decisions can lead to fatal consequences. Oh, God. <laughs> Assume positions, be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, 
Before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. Hey, Radnov! Welcome in! How are you doing today? How's everything going with you? Also, can we get a shout-out for King Radnov? Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. Warden, welcome in! How are you doing today? Emperor, thank you so much for the gift sub to King Radnov! Gift sub number 1,232? Emperor, your generosity means a ton. Thank you, as always. Uh, Warded, how are you doing? Hope everything's going good with you. And DB Sir, this feels like the kind of part where you need multiple save slots. I haven't even had an opportunity to save yet. Can I save now? I can't save now. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Huh, the Russian doll. I thought you were blonde. Um, ooh. yeah, this is tense. This is tense. What if these questions are time sensitive? I don't think so. I, I don't see any sort of timer on screen or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now, are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. I, I, oh god, um... Let's, uh, take a little look-see around, cause... I, I don't even have a guess. Remember. Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios' questions. Alright, um... One hundred, four, five, six? That could be it. Also, let's go ahead and save here. I think we're gonna be saving a lot in this scene. Hey, hey, cat, get your tongue, cause otherwise, <laughs> this cat could do a few things with you. <laughs> oh god, um... We gotta look at her, see if she can give us a uh, indication. Oh god, he noticed that. Alright, she looked over to the, over this direction. One hundred three four four. Let's try that one. You heard me. Shipment number. It's over there. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jack Striker goes by Jay, but he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. Um. Oh God. I'm gonna look around again. That's once for yes. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jay sent me, yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta? Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Oh, God. What do you think, Chet? Should we let him call the guy, or should I, uh... Should I try and bluff my way out of it? I don't think he's gonna trust me much if I try and bluff my way out of it. I'm thinking we should let him call him. I mean, obviously, he if he does make the call, we're screwed. But I think if I play it cool and be like, Yeah, sure, whatever, call him. I don't think he'll actually call him. I don't think he'll actually call and he'll trust us more because he's like, alright, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. It's how Jay's watching his stories and he can't be bothered. He doesn't like it when you interrupt his stories. 
Yeah, let's call his bluff. Yeah, yeah, call him. Call him, go ahead. Sure, call him. No, don't, don't actually, no. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Hey Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> Hey, hot face, he wants to know, what's your name? Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. Um... Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, what do you want? Oh, we're doing okay so far. I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. All right, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Um, I'm going to see if Jetta knows for this one. Yeah, I love that that was an option. Hey, here's my real name. Oopsies. <laughs> welcome in, Finkelroy. How are you doing? And Jonah, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. She touched her nose. I think that means center. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Oh, thank God. All right, all right. Um. I can't read it. It's all gibberish. Oh, we got to figure something out here. Can she use her powers? She can use her powers. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine, tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. Uh, oh, jeez. Alright, we promised to protect Jetta, so I think we're gonna focus on that. Jetta, run! Whoa, Jesus! Well, that didn't work. That wasn't my best decision. Wow, okay, uh, no, that, that one went badly. Shit. <laughs> that was, uh, not the correct play there, in case anybody was uh, unclear on, on what we were doing there. All right, Rin, good luck with your sorting. Let's see, Finkelroy, you're trying out your new headphones. Nice, I just got some new headphones as well. They don't have true 7.1, though. They've got digital surround. Uh, but I'm liking them so far. That's good. Yeah, he is very quick on the draw. Holy shit. Uh, continue inside warehouse. Oh, do we have to go through all of it again? I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order it. and that we don't waste my client's time. All right, one final question for you. Here's one. Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. All right, so we didn't lose too much time. That's a good thing. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine, tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. I don't know, he's got some sort of bizarre skin condition. I don't know what's going on there. 
Um, let's make a break for it. Oh God, Jetta! I got you, you bitch. John, it's now or never. Nobody likes to Stelios. I got you, Reed. Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Come on, pick up, damn it. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup. And that leads us back to the start of episode one. Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door, and the end begins. Smith Family Lake House, the morning after Scott's death. I haven't been to the Family Lake House in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother. But I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. And if I can't stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, this is terrifying. So we're playing as Cordelia three years ago. Well, that's interesting. Let's see, Jedi Master Grogu, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Four years! Holy crap! Fickle, right? I didn't realize it had been that long. Oh yeah, the photo on Max's desk! I forgot about that, Casey. Yeah, that's wild. Keats. He must be in pretty bad shape now. He did get very burned. Is the car open? Oh yeah, Halloween! It's locked. I need the keys. A small broom. Take it. It's an adventure game. Take every item. I don't know what we need a broom for, but I'll take it. It might help with something. Yeah. I don't know what, but, you know, adventure game. Maybe I can open this. No good. I'm assuming we can't just walk in the front door, but we'll see. Maybe I can open this. Actually, hang on. Can she use her powers here? Nope, no refer to use her powers. So we're playing as Cordelia right now. Cordelia can look into the future instead of the past. I'm assuming at some point they'll say why you went on this insane murder spree. I'd like to know his motivation no as well. I'm very curious. I think it has something to do with his own brother, but I'm hoping there's more Maybe to I it. Can open this. But I mean, if we're going to find out now, it seems like a good time to learn about him a little bit. Aha! Alright, so Finkelroy, really, that's a good question. So here's the thing. This was originally released in an episodic fashion. 
and it was four different episodes. But if you buy it nowadays, it only comes as one game. So it's called Cognition and Erica Reed Thriller. Now the fact that it says an Erica Reed Thriller makes it sound like part of a series. It's not. It's only the one game. They were planning to make a second season. It never happened. Uh, so if you look up the game Cognition, that's all you need. That's the entire series. Geek Boy, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Lots of stuff all over the floor here. Keys in one of the pockets. Oh, he's right there! Oh shit, he's right there. That's a problem. Old furniture. Mom liked it that way. He's right there. Um, can we use our powers? We can. Let's see, what's he gonna do? So, there's one way to do this. All right. Um, I don't have a gun or knockout powder though, so that's kind of a problem. Let's see. Can I get to the basement without him noticing? That leads to the basement. Keith used to spend a lot of his time down there. Let's see if we can sneak down to the basement. No. No turning back now. Keith is here. Everything I need is here. Um. Okay. See, I'm gonna save again. Hey, Eric Director, welcome in. How are you doing today? It is complete, unlike D4, unfortunately. Yeah, they did finish it. Um, can I can I just get the car key? Key to Keith's car. These old floorboards get very creaky toward the center of the room. He can't know I'm here until I'm ready for him. Shoot. Um. Can I get the key out of his... Ooh, hang on. Can I use the broom to get to his hoodie to get the key out of there? Aha, that way I don't have to walk over the creaky floorboards. Alright, so that gives me... Aha, the keys to the house. So now I can go in through the front door. So let's go do that. I know, it, it breaks my heart that we never got to see where he was going at D4. Oh, sorry, Eric Director, but I hope you had a great time with it this year. She had that in her coat yet! Yeah, it's kind of insane. What was hilarious was in yesterday's stream... There was a character who wasn't wearing a coat or anything. They were just wearing a regular shirt with no pockets. They somehow put an entire orrery that was the size of a microwave into their shirt. And it had this hilarious animation where they pick it up, and then as they pull it towards themselves, it just shrinks down. Because clearly they just didn't want to do, uh, make an animation of them carrying it around, so they're just like, oh yeah, that goes in their pocket. Yeah, uh, the, the orrery is going right in there. <laughs> It was so silly, it really was. Alright. So what can we get to from over here? Let's check out this work Some table. Thin wire. This might do the trick. Alright, we got some wire, cool. What else we got over here? There's the fireplace over here. Can we get to the car key from here? can. At least he won't be able to get away. Let's see what we can find in the car. As long as we don't go near the room where Keith is, we're not making too much noise, so that's a good thing. They do have superpowers, why not hammer space? Who doesn't have a bag of holding in this day and age? Oh, that's awesome, Eric. Plenty of time to get excited about it, sounds like. Alright, let's see what we can find useful in his car. All right, what do we got in here? Hey, what's this? Knockout powder. He was always messy, but now he's a pig. Nothing under here. 
Yeah, oh, well. Keith's gun. My visions showed this ending badly. Max, I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do, but... I won't let anyone else suffer like we did. Alright, can't open the, uh... Can't open the toolbox. Doesn't look like. Nothing else to see in here. And I can only get in the trunk. I can't get into any other parts of the car. Hey, what's this? Oh, hey, can I use the uh, my powers here? I can. Hey, Ooh. What's this? Secret compartment. Yeah, good thing he doesn't have a car alarm. But honestly, if I could, I'd rip out the car alarm out of any car I got. They're just irritating. I want to check out Happy sometime. I missed out on that, but it looked really, really good. Yeah, I, I did like the old sci-fi better. There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. I'll take a pack. Or two. Or maybe three. Alright, so we have the gun and we have the knockout powder. So now we know what we need to do to make this end in the, the way uh, her vision showed. <laughs> we still don't know how we got from here to all of the killings that she committed. I, I got a lot of questions. Kobatari! How are you doing today, Kumatori? How was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me everything. And for anybody from Kuma stream that doesn't know me, my name is Shane. That's Shane is games. I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. And today we are playing Cognition and Erica Reed Thriller. A uh, murder mystery point and click for the PC. Let's see, Vaxi Man, welcome in. Dejin, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think we're ready to go confront him. So in the vision, she pointed the gun at him, and then she hit him with the knockout powder. So I think that's what we have to do. Uh, Any would have note make it so it was made by a company called Phoenix Online, which is most notable for attempting to make a sequel to the Quest for Glory series, although they didn't finish it. Um, quick plot overview, we typically are playing a character named Erica Reed, who is an FBI agent with the power of uh, retrocognition. She can look into the past, and she's been investigating a series of serial killings trying to figure out who killed her brother. Right now, we are in a flashback, uh, controlling a different character named Cordelia, who has the power of precognition. She can look into the future, and she's attempting to stop her brother, who is one of the serial killers that killed Erica's brother. I think that uh, sums it up decently. Dome Keeper, nice. How's that one going for you? Hope you're enjoying that. It's interesting. This game is very interesting. All right, so I think we're ready for this. So I'm going to head inside, and then I'll save, and then we'll see if we can do this. But the vision showed her with the gun and the knockout power, so I think that's what we got to do. Safe case. So, do we have to equip the knockout powder, maybe? Possibly. No. The drugs are a backup. I don't want to use them unless it's necessary. Alright, so do we go with the gun first? Not yet. The gun is just a distraction. I need a plan. Uh, alright. Do we need to... Look at the vision again. So, there's one way to do this. Oh! There's an element I'm missing here, isn't there? I think there is. Yes, but I need to tie it to something. All right, so we need to set up a tripwire as well as the missing element. Um, a 
heavy, sturdy table. Max loved sitting by the fire for hours. Mom too. It makes me wish I could see the past like Erica does. Old furniture. Mom liked it that way. Alright, so... Let's try this. Okay, that'll hold. He definitely freaks me out. And I think it's probably because when I was a kid, my mom had this creepy doll that she actually put in the corner. Like, I don't know why. She found it at a state sale or something, and she thought it was hilarious. Um, so sometimes when I like, get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I just see this tiny thing hanging around in the corner of the room and it freaked the shit out of me. So yeah, the idea of a doll like running around in the middle of the night, it is terrifying. Most definitely. <laughs> Right now we tie the other part of the cable to the cabinet here. Okay, that'll hold. All right. We got a tripwire set up. I think we're good here. Let's do this thing. Keith, come out of there now. Cool. Cordelia? Surprised? I figured that since I was locked up and you didn't come to visit me, I'd come to visit you. I wanted to, Cordy. I just didn't know what I would say. What you did was... Stupid. I should never have taken the blame for what you did. I felt so broken. I thought I'd protect you. And I wanted to understand... <laughs> Why? Why, Keith? Because I need to. I can't fight it. I, I just need to. That's it? You destroy our lives. You force me to kill Max, and that's all you can say? I need to? I could usually suppress or ignore it, but that night in Max's office, when I found out the truth, it changed. Suddenly, I felt cut off from you two, from everyone. There was no reason to suppress it anymore. So yeah, that's the reason he's a serial killer. He's a serial killer because he feels right, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they were definitely inspired by Telltale. I'm getting that vibe. I want to try to forgive you, Keith. Can you? You have to understand that this is something I can't control, Cordelia. I must kill. The spawn of Scarobius. <laughs> yeah, he does kind of look like a ghoul in here, doesn't he? I understand the need to kill. It, it stirred in me when I killed Max. Killing doesn't make us monsters. Yes, it does. It just makes us human. And because I'm human, I still love you, Cordelia. I always did. We're trying to gain his trust here so that, you know, he doesn't murder us. And comic books, too. I could see that, too. Um. People like us, we can still love. Yes. And even though I never felt anything for Max like I have for you, I just couldn't control the need to kill him to understand what made him tick. I'm sure Max is grateful for what we did, together. Do you think he understood why we did it? Do you still prefer him over me? So we're just trying to gain his trust right now. We're just telling him what he wants to hear is all we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's completely normal, right? Yeah, sure. That's, that's a thing that happens all the time, I guess. Mr. Lurker, welcome in. How are you doing today? Keith. I always preferred you. All right, we gained his trust. Come here, Keith. Hey, come here. Cool. Come here. Whoop. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You can do it again. 
pull the trigger. Because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. But pain has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Erica? Cordelia, I've been... I've been looking for you. You've found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, oh, Jesus, what? Hey, no. No, no, we don't kiss the murder lady. Trust me. Oh, God. Ask Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation. Now I'm drawing a hard line here. We don't smooch serial killers. I'm a flexible guy, but that's where I'm drawing the line. <laughs> she was too horny for murder and had to be bonked. We gave him the bonk too. Drawing the line after you passed it is kind of a bit late, also the story of my life. Ugh. No serial killers as far as I know though, so at least I haven't made that I missed the episode, is there still one more? Oh no, it's just starting now, Blue Lion. This is the opening credits. We're just getting started. Welcome in, Blue Lion. Erica. Erica, my dear. Are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done. But I don't. You should. The Sully? Davies? Oh god. John. Is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Yes! Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, you cannot help but connect to her human side. The woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh dear. I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty. And yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun, a volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me, all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bartin? Yes. There was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad. And so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman, scaring the children. He would run from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. 
People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it? Nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright light came, and there was a noise, a big broom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remembered the man's word. Fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy. A Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him. And I could not stop seeing his eyes. Those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him? Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, and to this day I live by our moments together. Oh, all right, and uh, that's the end of the story there. Uh, let me get caught up right here. Let me see what we got here. Let me catch up. Uh, let's see. Now we're in and only opening credits. There was a lot going on. We had a whole prologue to this uh, chapter, which is pretty intense. This is the finale. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, let's see. Scions. What do compact cars have to do with this? I don't know. They keep saying Eric is a scion. So I guess that's her like car sona or something. I don't know. It's beyond me. <laughs> you forgot she's like oh this was the most important moment of my life and then he said I don't know something um, drink your Ovaltine maybe I don't know I, I should have written it down <laughs> yeah, bro, thank you for taking that clip as well I appreciate that I would like a moment to myself oh alright she's done talking Oh, can we go into her memories, though? That seems invasive. Rose, I don't understand what Cordelia wanted me to learn by this, but I need to try. Would you give me permission to look into your memories? Oh, my dear. I won't push you if you don't want me to, but I need to know this, Rose. I might be able to make you remember exactly what he told you. Wouldn't you want to remember that? Sometimes, yes. But there are some memories better left alone. I will let you, but if I say stop, please stop. I promise. That's fair. All right, you have activated the power of regression. To view the desired memory, you must rearrange parts of the memory to match what actually happened in the past. Once all memories are matched, click on the blue cognition sphere to view the memory. If it's like... Selection is incorrect and the screen will flash red. Oh god, we have to put everything back in order? Actually, no, it looks like everything is in order. Yeah, it already looks like it is in order for the most part, right? Except this is them uh, being dragged away to death row. Um... Let's see now, how do I re- or 
She doesn't remember what she told him? Alright, do we just have to go through and fill in the gaps, I suppose? It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Interesting. Rose was reading a book, but which? Uh, I don't know. Can we question her about it? What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. All right, so this is like that puzzle they had in, what was it, game two, I think? What did you tell him, Rose? About what he could do? Isn't it obvious, my dear? All right. We have to figure out those two things for starters. Burma shave? Oh, impossible. Consent is important. This is very true. Really? Those things look so cramped. What could have happened to him? The children were scared. They were playing with that ball. I wonder what village this is. All right, nothing else to see here. They thought he was crazy. Rose doesn't remember this. I need to find out what this flag really looks like. All right, there's another thing we have to fill in. So this is going to be a pretty big puzzle, it seems like. She just come on, Nancy. Where's the fun in that? Did you ever find out why he said the things he did? Yes, but I do not wish to think about that. It's too hurtful for me to think about them. The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. Do you remember what the flag of the temple looked like? I can't remember, my dear. All right, that doesn't super help. Um, A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. Ask her about that, too. What temple was that? It's a Gao Dai temple. There are a few of those in Vietnam. All right. A Cao Dai temple. All right, we're narrowing it down a little bit. Uh, do we have to look up what the Vietnamese flag looks like? Do you remember what the flag of the temple looked like? I can't remember. Oh, no, she can't remember that one. We'll have to keep looking. All right. Almost like it's hardest. That's a good review right there. She's so lucky to have survived. I don't think luck has anything to do with it, my dear. Is that her last name? Did I say that out loud? Was Rose using a name other than her own? She doesn't remember it. I need to find out. Oh, jeez. All right. I'm going to click on something else there. This is horrible. It got burned as badly as that little girl. No, I can just look at the soccer ball. It doesn't actually do anything, it looks like. All right. I mean, we don't know what her last name is. We have to kind of figure it out. Could be Rose DeWitt. Could be something else. If my old man's reflexes hadn't set in. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's fortunate, Figueroa. Glad you're able to avert the worst. Why can't you remember your name? I'm Rose Duvalier, but when I went to Vietnam, they gave us different last names in order to protect us. So that the enemy couldn't identify your family to blackmail you. Yes, and I do not remember what that name was. Look in the top left drawer of my desk. Maybe you can find something there to aid you, my dear. All right, so I'll have to look around here a little bit, sounds like. It's going to be a big puzzle. Rose doesn't remember what he gave her? I need to find out more about this. He gave her something. All right. 
What did he give you, Rose? Check that shelf over there. All right. Oh yeah, it would have popped right off. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? All right, that's where she told him something, but she they can't were going what. to execute him. I mean, that's probably it right there, I would imagine. But we'll have to look into it. Here's the, the final result. This is what I need to dig up. But I'm gonna have to clear her memory fully and replace all the missing pieces before I can see what she has locked here. Gonna take some time. All right, how about the last one? All right, nothing to see there. All right, so let's pop out of here. Let's start looking around the place, see what we can see. Rose told me to check her drawer. Alright, let's do that then. The Tao of Physics. This book was published about three years after Rose was in Vietnam. So this couldn't be it. Alright, there is it down. The Book of Shuang Tzu. Nothing in this one, except that it was owned by a Matt Warriner. The Alchemy of Happiness. Wait, what's this? It's a piece of a picture. This is Rose in Vietnam. But I can't see the whole thing. It's been ripped. Can I use my powers? No, not on that, surprisingly. I'll take the photo for now. All right, so that seems likely. The prophet? Damn, there's nothing here. All right, um... All right, nothing else to see there. Let's see, so we got the photo piece. So that gives us part of a vision, but we need something else to complete it. Uh, let's keep looking around here. She said something about checking a shelf, too. Probably the shelf. This is the shelf Rose told me to check. Let's see what's over here. Big old puzzle here. Holy crap. All right. There's so many of them. Which one am I looking for? Uh, powers? Oh, hello. Um, all right, we saw this, so we know that one. There's the soccer ball. We know that's one. And then is that the Burt? Oh, that's the Burt doll. All right, let's try that. It's beautiful. This must be what Bautan gave Rose. All right, perfect. It's a piece of a photograph. Ah, there's another photograph piece as well. It's only a piece of a photo. Is that Rose? It's beautiful. All right, so we got that too. Let's pop out of there. Use our powers on the two pieces of the photo. And that'll give us a vision. <sighs> Look at her, all smiling and young. So Bailey is the name on the shirt, Bailey. All right, let's go back into the vision. And correct some things now that we know what we're looking for. Alright, so the name on her shirt would have been... Bailey. We got that. Uh, the figurine... I think looked like that. I'll have to double check that. And what was the other one we got there? Uh, the book. Uh, Alchemy of Happiness, I think, was the one. All right. We've got that. I don't think we're done yet, are we? No, we still got some more to do. We need to figure out the flag. Uh, let's see if Erica's cell phone can help with that, maybe. 
Web search religious imagery. Um, ah, that wasn't it. What was it? She mentioned the name of the uh, city. I don't remember. Let me ask her again. I'll give him some water in the form of bullets. One of the oldest quotes right there. Now, let's see. The Cow Dai Temple. So she mentioned it was the Cow Dai Temple. And she said... The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that ball later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and Tran South Bang. Vietnam. There we go. Alright, so let's try that. Tran Bang, there we go. Alright, so yellow, blue, red with the eye in the center. Alright, that's the right flag then. Are we done yet? We are! I know what you can do. I know you will do good by those like us. I can see it. You will be an angel among those like us. And that's why she helps uh, Scions. Oh, I too have failed, my dear, many times. But we must always pick ourselves up and keep on going. I couldn't save Baltan, but to this day I keep his spirit with me. You could hear him. You can... you can read minds, Rose? You're one of... us? I can see and hear people's thoughts, my dear. That must be what Cordelia wants you to know. But why? I do not know, my dear, but it is certainly something that she has foreseen, and it is undoubtedly part of a plan. Yeah, Cordelia is has some sort of grand plan, and the fact that she can see the future makes it very hard to anticipate. Void juice, delicious void juice. Tastes like emptiness. Hey, Laura, welcome in. How are you doing today? So what do you think of the series? It's so good. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's my first time playing, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Ugh. Why were you so sure that John was in danger? He confided in me about a few things, and there were other things I read. But it was when you called me from the towers that I made the full connection. What they did to Cordelia after Max's death, it haunted John in ways you cannot imagine. Do you blame her, Rose? That is a very hard question to answer. I feel for all the scions out there, 
but in this short time, you have known her better than I ever did, probably better than anyone else. The question is, do you blame her? I don't know how to begin to answer that question, Rose. We still kind of need to know a little bit more about Cordelia's motivation. I got a lot of questions there. She cannot foresee the void juice. It is outside of causality. One can hope more can be made. Apparently they wanted to make a second season. Uh, but considering that episode four came out eight years ago, uh, I wouldn't count on it. I'm not even sure if Phoenix Online is active anymore, unfortunately. But I, if they make more, I'll definitely get into it. <sighs> All right. So Cordelia is like Bautan. She can see the future. And just like him, she was judged for a crime she did not commit. This is a very powerful kind of scion, Erica. Also a very cursed one. Those who can see the future are plagued by their visions in ways far worse than those like you who can see the past. I tried to help Cordelia, but the events that unfolded around her came too swiftly to be stopped. Rose, but how come I could see the future? I've been thinking about that. It is true that every yin has its yang, and when you bring together scions with contrasting but complementary powers, especially a pair still learning to cope with them, uncontrollable things happen and the powers can clash. What you saw was a vision Cordelia had in the past, her vision of the future. But because it had to do with you, it triggered whenever you were close to her. So, in the parking lot at the station, and again in the hangman crime scene. But then... Why didn't I see it when I met her at the cemetery? You were probably more susceptible to danger in those other occasions. But I don't have all the answers, Erica. What I do know is that this power links you to each other, which is how you connected to her past so easily at the Inthon Towers. Deadly Premonition 2 reference? God, that game. I'm still gonna buy whatever game is Swery makes, but that game was a bit of a mess. The past's future. The future's future's future? Timey wimey, sayani won't wayani mess. It really is. And Rook's Honor, welcome in. How are you doing today? Let me entertain a thought here, Rose. You can read minds, and Cordelia wanted me to know this. Now, I know you keep saying your memory is fuzzy, but I need you to concentrate on what I'm about to ask you. Go on. When Cordelia was here, was there anything that you read from her thoughts? Anything special? Anything that seemed to matter to her or that could tell me where she or Cain might be? That would be a very hard thing to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. When Cordelia's visions would overtake her, I would ask her to focus on a place that would calm her down. And did you read her? I'm seeing it in my thoughts right now. Let's see, wasn't there some announcement recently? Swery said he's working on DLC for The Good Life. That's the only thing I can think of right there. Casita has redeemed Invest in Harvester Seagull. Can you imagine Harvester, but Steve can read minds? Oh my god. The things that the people in the town of Harvester would think about would be hideous. Can you imagine if you had, like, retrocognition and you could just see all the horrors in these people's past, too? Everyone in that town is monsters. I'm not sure I'd like what I'd see there. But, you know, trying to make a horrifying game, we'll have to put it in there now. Speaking of story games, is J.G. Mechfield on the list? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. On one hand, it's a story game, so that should give it a free pass. On the other hand, I tried it out, and physics-based puzzlers make me very nervous. Because I always somehow manage to break the engine. <laughs> Phase things through the floor, get them stuck in bad ways. So I'm a little nervous about that. Plus, the subject matter of that game is particularly heavy and i don't know if i want to get anything too heavy in the stream here uh so it's a solid maybe definitely but i'm aware of it at least i have a copy of it i have played it oh yeah they're either remastering they're remaking i believe i believe it's remaking uh all right so let's use our powers on her see if we can figure out what that place is Cordelia was thinking it was. It's a Morning, Shiro! This must be where Cordelia wants me to go. But where is this? 
There has to be something that can guide me here. How are you doing today, Shira? How is your day going? Alright, let's look around. Who is this person? Wait. It's Scorobius. He can tell me where this place is. Last I heard, they were holding him down at the station. Time to pay a visit. Also, let's punch his face. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Rose. Erica, wait. I have not quite told you everything. Really? I had a feeling. I live up to Baltan's last words. I look for scions and I help them deal with their abilities through training or whatever means necessary. I've taken it upon myself to offer Scion salvation. We need to protect our kind. There is much for you to learn about what I do, what we do. But right now, you need to promise me that you will do your best to handle Cordelia. I know that you will use your best judgment with her. I don't know if right now is the best time to... This is not an invitation to join us. This is just me trusting you fully. There are others like you. Others that have been watching you for some time. Your coming here was not an accident. Know that whatever happens, in here you will always have a home. Thank you, Rose. Alright. Scarobius the Child Rose. Frightener. Now leave. Take a vacation. And I want you to go through counseling before even thinking of coming back. Is that clear? You finally found a way to do it. You've wanted to do this since I went against you the night that Scott died. You must be happy now. No, Reed, I'm not. But after what happened with John at the Anthon Towers, there's no other choice. You need to be off this case and away from this office. But not before I debrief you. I want to know everything that went down in there. Did you bring Scorobius in? Yes, he's in one of the interrogation cells. Leave it be, Reed. Collect your things from your desk, and I'll be out in a few minutes for the debrief. All right, I'll be waiting. But first, I'd like to make a pit stop. Hell yeah! It's one in the morning right now? Didn't look like that from Rose's place. Did Erica just unplug the camera? I bet she did. Miss Reed, what a surprise. Weren't you suspended? I don't have time for your cryptic bullshit right now. I need information and you're gonna give it to me. You seem very sure about that. Well, yeah, we got powers. Uh, let me get caught up on chat. More readings right in the future? Yes. Next to one on the list is uh, Ace Attorney Investigations uh, 1. So I'll be looking into uh, getting that one on stream at some point. Uh, Alright, so let's, let's save here, first of all. Making some progress. Yeah, he's not going to tell us anything. Let's just reach into his mind. Keep your hands off me. Just punch him. Literally just punch him. I don't have a lot of time, and I need to get as much information as I can from him. Right in the throat. What do we have in our inventory? Just our phone, because they took our badge and our gun. Where is Cordelia? I thought you'd know the answer to that by now. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now to save your pompous ass. I need you to tell me where Keith and Cordelia are. Go to hell! Um... Yeah! I hate this guy. Let's just go for it. Answer me! I told you I don't know! Get your goddamn hands off me! The Smiths have a lake house. It must be close to here. A lake house? That describes a dozen properties they own. Where is the Smiths' lake house? Which one? What country? This one! Talk! Agent Reed, I, 
I don't know how much more of this I can take. He looks about to pass out. Where is the Smith's Lake House? Which one? What country? He's still not telling me. Where is Keith? I have no idea, and why should I? You're his father. Does your father know what you're doing right now? I didn't think so. You are going to tell me where Cordelia is. Why don't you just give her a call? Maybe you can go down to the cemetery to chit-chat again. Tell me what I need to uh, know. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck. Uh -oh. What the hell did you do, Erica? Now what? Touch him. Touch him. could have stopped it. The bastard. There's another memory here. I found Keith. I need you to help me. Where exactly? The lake house in Rockport. Let me see. 1246 Pleasant Brook Lane. That one? Is he still alive? Of course he is. He just killed the brother of that agent. Please hurry. I have to get there. What the hell have you done, Agent Reed? Uh. Agent Holmberg, stop her! Oh god, um... <laughs> uh, Maxi Man, you're heading to bed. Well, thanks for hanging around. You take care of yourself. Have a good sleep. We'll see you in time. Laplagam, how are you doing? He knows, he just didn't want to tell me. This guy is at the most generous. At the most generous, he's an accessory to murder. So I don't mind pushing him around a little bit. Hey, LTG, welcome in. How are you doing today, LTG? Hope you're doing good. Kind of wondering why you didn't use the power of strength to choke hold, because I wanted to beat the crap out of <laughs> That's the answer there. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate headphones that allow that. Um. Push Holmberg and then run. Sorry, Petta. What kind of shit are you getting into, Erica? I got an achievement called Asphyxia for knocking him out. Oh, you put that man to sleep, gotcha. <laughs> Misunderstood. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, Cordelia. We used to come here every summer when Mom and Dad were alive. Things were much simpler back then. Don't take another step. You tricked me. My visions? John! The future is a very fickle thing, Erica. What we see is sometimes only one of many possibilities. I saved us both. Had I been in the Anthon Towers with you, one of us would have ended up dead. So I left the towers before that could happen. But fate has a funny way of correcting itself. Someone still needed to be shot. You led John and me to the towers. You're responsible for what happened to him. No, Erica. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You were supposed to kill Keith when you found him. You should have used your powers on him and you would have seen it all. But you didn't, Erica. You made a sloppy mistake. The kind of mistake that cost Davies her life. That's what you wanted me to do? Kill Keith? That's what this was all about. If you wanted this to end so badly, why didn't you kill him yourself? Killing one of my brothers was enough for me, Erica. People like us are cursed. 
We can't lead simple lives. Don't you dare compare me to you. You're a scumbag murderer. You killed Davies. You almost killed Sully and... What makes us any different? Tell me you don't want to pull that trigger right now. Give me one damn good reason not to. Very well. Take this. I found it down in the basement. Use your power on it. Do it. Okay, what is it? He's taken someone, but I can't see who. Me either. But we can work together to stop this, Erica. We can save that person together. So, what's it going to be? I don't trust you. If it helps, this might help me get closer to my goal. I want McAdams. <laughs> you really are crazy if you think I'll let you hurt anyone else. We can talk about that later. Follow me. The clock's ticking. Yeah, she's nuts. He was here recently. Do you smell the burning wood? Max loved that smell. He and Mom would sit by the fireplace for hours just listening to the embers crackling. Keith would watch them from the corner of his eye, pretending to be reading over on that sofa. I can see how there was something troubled in him even then, as if the world he saw wasn't the same one the rest of us lived in. You could have prevented all of this suffering and death if you had just come clean in the first place. But instead you used me. Why, Cordelia? Why did you choose me? Because I saw you, in those visions at the towers. You were there, trying to help me when everyone else just crossed their arms and let Max die. You're a rebel, Erica. You were hurt enough by the death of your brother that you could be driven to killing Keith. It was the only way. But for that, you needed to be vulnerable. I saw it. And so you hurt everyone close to me, manipulated my life for your needs? Ugh. We're wasting time. Let's continue this search. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I love that logic there. She's like, Erica, you need to trust me. I am going to have to murder your boss, though, just so we're clear. <laughs> Do we really care about McAdams? I don't want him to get murdered. That's a, that's a little over the line there. Very, we make each other worse in a fun way. That's a good way of putting it. Also, Zenpachi, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, McAdams is Erica's boss, and he was the guy telling us to, uh, he's the guy that we gave our badge and our gun to. Punisher, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well today, Punisher. Oh, jeez. You were helping me, so of course I decided to manipulate you by murdering and maiming all the people close to you. It was the only way, Erica. We're, we're gonna need to throw her in jail at some point. She needs jail so very badly. Desperately needs jail. All right, let's, let's get down to the basement. Kane's lair. This is the first trap. The George siblings in the old factory. And this one. Joe and Cameron, when he started using tombs. Janelle and Robert, he planned it all here. Scott? He never lets them live. There's always a backup plan ever since me and Max. You're the only one who ever got away from him. Cordelia, what was done to you was unspeakable. More than probably anyone else, I understand. But what you've done is wrong. Don't pretend you know me just because you've seen my past. What Keith did was wrong. I am not like Keith. I did good, Erica. Someone had to stop Antony and Joey. I saved others. They will never kill again. You killed one FBI agent. You maimed another one. Also, you killed two serial killers, which, you know, I know I understand why you think that's a good thing, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> The baby jail quote. I love the baby jail quote. Fair enough, Punisher. What are you thinking? So how is John they haven't actually mentioned? 
everyone's just sort of talking around John, so we don't know if he's okay or not, but... We did shoot him in center mass, and I'm not feeling great about that. I'm gonna try to earn her trust here, just like we did with her... It's like she did with her brother. I can't say that I condemn you for stopping that, but why Davies? Why Sully? They were doing their jobs. No, they weren't. They didn't listen. The night I took Joey, he was headed to Melissa's apartment. I tried to warn Sully, but he didn't listen. Melissa? If you hadn't sent your warning as a cryptic message, he would have done something about it. I know, Sully. But what did you want me to do? Tell him I could see the future? I already tried that, remember? Didn't go too well. You're still wrong, Cordelia. You're pretending that this is all about poetic justice, but deep inside, this is just an excuse to get your revenge. That's why you want McAdams. Basically, yeah. Yeah, she traumatized poor Officer Duffy. Literally his first day on the job, apparently. Or first week on the job. <laughs> I hope John's fine, but somehow I doubt it. Yeah, that was a hell of a line right there, wasn't it? Can I see past the fourth wall? That'd be a little terrifying. Alright, let's save down here, and then let's take a look around, see if we can find any clues. Actually, here, can we... There's nothing to use our powers on here. Scotty. I wish I could have found this then. Janelle's trap. We don't know anything about that. He killed Joe Hollowell in one of these. There's something different about it. Hello. What is this? Another one of his games. And how do we solve this one? If I knew the answer, I would have already solved it. Use our powers? Can. No dice. This was installed recently, and he didn't even try to solve it once. Well, maybe we can cheat then. Looks like we can switch between the two characters here. See if she uses her powers on it. Any ideas, Cordelia? That's it? Oh, I didn't work very well. How about the other one? Uh, third one? Give up. Uh, fourth one. Mom, I don't have all night. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Really? Any ideas, Cordelia? Uh, it's just the same thing we heard before. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Alright, um... Looks like I can push these in and out. I should try moving them around. Hey, Nuddle Masher, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Brute Force, Best Force? Oh no. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Wait a second. Come on, open up, you piece of crap. What's the trick to this thing? Erica. The stuff you're saying. I see what we're doing here. Ooh, that's interesting. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Ooh, good luck, Nettle Measure. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. All right, so we need to match up what Erica says to what she saw here. So let's see. Any ideas, Cordelia? Erica, the stuff you're saying. Hmm. Keep it up. I Can't think I'm getting this dialogue. Related this is horrible. To my power that will help us open this thing. 
There might be another way for me to help. I don't want... All right, no, we gotta switch back, sorry. <laughs> this is impossible. There's no way I can do this without help. Oh, this is getting really frustrating. I think that was one of them, wasn't it? So there was any ideas. Really frustrating. All right, that's that's where it should Erica, be. Erica, the stuff stop, you're saying. Stop, stop, game. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. All right, so there's any ideas really frustrating. Give up. Any ideas really Erica. frustrating? Give up. Oh the my god, stop game. Keep it up. <laughs> some guy to head no. Related to it through my How are you doing today, some guy to head? This thing. All right, one more, one more. Mom, I don't have all night. All right. Erica. Please stop. The stuff you're game. Saying. Keep it up. Enemies everywhere. I'm getting something related <laughs> to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Uh, feeling lonely. Someone's about to die, and I'm here playing with a toy. <sighs> Open, damn it! I give up. All right, there's one. Great. Come on, I don't have all night. I think that's another one. Come on, open up, you piece of crap. What's the trick to this thing? There we go. Look at all this stuff. Nails and hair. I didn't know he was this disturbed. At least not back when he was out killing freely. This isn't uncommon for serial killers. Wait. What's this? My high school graduation ring? What is this doing? Oh, Scotty's bracelet. I wondered where this had gone. He took a lot from both, from a lot of people. Did you know, da did you know Davy's family? What do you care? You murdered her. She did murder her, though. Let's see. We cut up right here. Try this scheme and win. Pull all the levers. I mean, I technically did pull all the levers. I put all of them in every possible position. <laughs> Emperor and Seamus have both invested in a Harvester's sequel. And Seamus, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. So, uh, that's, I think that's what we need to do for a Harvester's sequel. Is we need to have a puzzle that's going to take a very long time to solve. And you're going to have to do a lot of clicking and moving these around to solve it. And we'll have only one voice line that the character says after every click. Kind of like the uh, maze in uh, Seventh Guest. Feeling lonely. And it'll take half an hour to solve, so they have to hear it at least 400 times. Yeah. Game design. <laughs> Give that her name before is Ariel. Should we say, look at this stuff? Isn't it neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you think his murder collection is complete? <laughs> no, that's an odd way to put it, isn't it? Little Master out there killing you freely. Jeez. Ah, oh, it's good to hear, Seamus. Hopefully that is the start of a trend. Alright, let's just take everything out of here, I suppose. We might be able to get some visions off some of these. Alright, let's see what we get. You bleed, he breathes. It's from one of his victims. It's like a puzzle piece or something. Your blood will save him. Uh, Alright, can I use my powers on these? No, not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. 
There we go. All right, we know all that. That was from uh, episode one right there. I begin to post the star sign puzzle. Oh God, that took forever. It was so hard. Free range murder is so much more ethical than farm raids. You gotta have space there. <laughs> yeah, just take everything that isn't nailed down, including actual nails. All right, what else can we put together here? Blood buys some time. We saw a bit of this as well in the first episode. Of the game. Of course, now we've been told that there wasn't actually any way out of his traps, so that's not very fair. Now, what else we got here? You bleed, he breathes. Well, that's horrifying. All right, one last one. Let's see what we got here. Your blood will save him. None of that was helpful in the slightest. Hey Saturn, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, nothing else to get there. This looks familiar. Seen it before? I have, but not put together like this. He knows about us, doesn't he? Of course, and he must be experimenting on us right now. How long would a pair of scions take to solve this puzzle? I can almost hear him. You didn't even plan all of it, did you? It was him. He helped me put it together. He gave me ideas. He played you, that's what he did. No, I was in control. Where is he then? You were supposed to kill him. <sighs> What a stupid plan. That was a really stupid plan. Alright. Oh, she's just trusting us less and less. I don't like that. Um. Oh, well, we can use our powers on it, so let's start there. Is stealth behind this? We'll all be dead by the time you solve this. Oh, that jerk. Have a rain this weekend. Nice. We had a little bit of rain tonight as well. Alright, so that's in 1993 then. What are we supposed to do with these? If I know Keith, it's some sort of combination. Alright, let's take another peek at that. Alright, nothing is lit up there, it just says 1993. That's weird. Alright, let's see if she gets any beat off with, with her powers. Twenty eighteen. Interesting. Doesn't seem to change the numbers on it. If we look at it with buttons pressed, does that change anything? Nineteen ninety-eight. Also, I see a couple paths on there. This is a weird puzzle. Um, 
Let's see now. So that one, that one, not this one. Not this one, but this one and this one. Alright, anything else? Let's see. Uh, that one, that one, that one. I think that's it. But that's the third configuration, isn't it? We gotta do them in order, right? I think we're doing this in order. Alright. So, let me make a note of this, because we accidentally figured out the third one first. Yeah, let's find some space in here. Got my handy dandy notebook. Alright, so. Let's see. So, 1998. 1998 is. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, seven, and eight. One, two, three, seven, eight. Cool. The handy dandy notebook got it right here. Let's see. By the way, what shirt are you wearing today? I am wearing one of my two N7 shirts. This is specifically my Systems Alliance one. Got to represent the N7 here. I get that she's like family, like I get that, but at some point when you see these things in the future, like, you have to ask, why don't you just put a bullet in your brother? Especially because she's like, I'll just have Erica kill him with this incredibly complicated plan that involves me killing it several other people as well. That's crazy. Just just put a bullet in him, don't create this crazed mouse trap. Everything she's done is wrong, DB Stewart, I'm with you there. Cider, welcome in, how are you doing today, Cider? Hope you're doing well. See, Punisher, EDF 4.1 and 5, got a War Ragnarok, RE7 Gold, Stray, nice, good choices there, I would say. Blue's Clues, nice, nice. Alright, so, we know that, so now we need to learn the other two combinations as well. So, let's switch characters. So, this is the first combo. And that's one, three, four. All right. So, twenty, eighteen, one, three, four. What else do we got there? That's one, three, four, seven, eight, and ten. Seven, eight, ten. All right. So that's two of the combinations. I'm going to try putting that one in because that's the first one listed here. I think we can press them. I'll leave this to Erica. She's been leading the charge nicely. Oh, Cordelia won't touch anything. Gotcha. One, three, four, seven, eight, ten. All right, so we did that. Now, if we look at it again, does that change anything? That's everything that needs to be pressed for 2018. Don't seem to have done anything, though. Hmm. We still need to figure out what 2011 is on here. Did Erica's fingerprints all over these things? I mean, she's already probably going to jail after this one. You know, assaulting an FBI agent, assaulting a suspect, and also she shot John. That doesn't look very good. Um, insubordination. That's not a jailable offense, but doesn't help with anything else. Alright, so how... Ugh. Is there any sort of pattern in here? No, not really. We've got 2018, we've got 1998. Show the puzzle your badge! They took my badge! Um... Let's see, 2011... They must want me to infer something between these two codes here. 
kind of hard to justify everything with what we can see with the past and uh, the future and past collectively. I think it's just she's like, I, you know, they mentioned that it's a cursed power to be able to see into the future. I'm imagining she got kind of drunk on it. She's like, oh, I don't want to kill him. Oh, how can I manipulate the future to do it? Oh, there it is. All I have to do is kill three people and maim a fourth one, and then someone else will kill him for me. Excellent. I think that's about the only explanation I get right there. All right, so. Let's see, let's hit. Uh, button five. Button six. And button nine. Nope, those are the only buttons that don't get pressed in either combination. It doesn't appear to do anything, though. Alright, let's back out of here for right now. We might not ha have what we need to do in yet. This was the one for the George siblings. They held each other's hands as they were killed. Well, that's creepy. Right, nothing else to use our powers on in the room. How about her? No, nothing else she can use her powers on either. Alright, so we must have what we need to solve this. Another one of Kane's games. What are we doing here? Weird. Uh, let me make sure I got the numbers right. So this should be 1998, which should be 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Right? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Yeah, that's correct. And then for hers... Three, four, three, four, seven, eight. Oh, it's that one? I thought I had one written down for that one. Hang on. Oh, that is. All right. One, three, four, seven, eight, and ten. You really go for brunch? I could use a snack as well, honestly. Ugh. Do we do commonalities, maybe? Could be commonalities between the two of them, that's possible. In which case, we'd be pressing one, three, uh, seven and eight. Ah, there we go. We had to find the commonalities between the two uh, solutions. I'm getting tired of this game. <laughs> what are you going to do when we find Keith? He's going to answer for what he's done. What do you want it to be, Cordelia? I don't know. What matters to me is that he understands that I'm doing this for him, too. Maybe to make up for what he's done to all those people. For what he did to you and your brother. Maybe I should have come right to you, Erica, instead of trying to connect from a distance. What about what you've done? Of course, she doesn't have an answer to that. Kellerman, welcome in. How are you doing today, Kellerman? Hope you are having a fantastic weekend. Ooh, nice. I haven't read that one personally, but I've heard good things about it. Oh, God. Did I just take all the figurines? Oh, God. I just took all the figurines. Shit. This is going to get complicated, isn't it? Oh, dear God. All right. All right, this is going to be a lot. Uh, hang on, let's start. Let's do this in order. Let's start with quadrant one. He used all of the figurines in each pin. He's just trying to confuse you. 
He knew you'd try it. Alright, so Erica's powers aren't gonna work here. So let's try Cornelius. This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright, so that is where. Oops, we gotta switch back. Where is that one? This one? This one doesn't fit. Is it here? Uh, yeah, I can see the square now. All right. So that goes there. I think we'll be able to extrapolate from here. All right, so I, I see where we're going. We have to recreate the murder scenes using what we know. I think we can do this. We can do this. Whiskey sour croissant scroll. Holy crap, that sounds good. Oh, no, that's Super Mario shirt. Nice, nice. Yeah, maybe I should have just talked to him. Maybe you should have. That's the whole reason we have a drink command is because sometimes you can avoid the apocalypse if you just sit down and talk to people. Oh, my God. The circle goes in the square hole. I see you're also a TikTok fan there, Casita. I love that video so much. Alright. Check out Quadrant 2, then. This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright, that's where the spike lid thing goes. Uh, where's that? Spike stripe. Alright. Go. All right, quadrant three. This is where the group for this trap goes. There's Erica's trap. Uh, that's this one. Cool. And last one. This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright, cool. Which one's that? Glass shard wheel? I think that's it. Alright, cool. So we've got all the square holes taken care of. Can she get us any... Any more, uh, insight? This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright, no. So we've got to do some detective work to figure out the rest then. Gotcha. Alright, so let's start here. Janelle's trap. All right. Uh, let's see, which one was Janelle then? Not that one. I think it was that one. That's the one? I didn't, I'm not actually sure if I saw that in there. Uh, I'll start with another one. We'll come back to that one. We could probably do Erica's, right? We were there for that one. We should be able to figure that one out. Cordelia's power is a literal manifestation of the ends justify the means, and Erica's is what you do matters, don't skip steps. That's a really good way of looking at it. I like that. <laughs> the rectangle goes in the square hole. <laughs> All right, so what else was part of... All right, Scott. That should go here, right? Sure, sure. And what else? Only read blood. That'll go here. All right, so that's that quadrant taken care of, because that's the easy one. All right, what else have we got here? This was the one for the George siblings. They held each other's hands as they were killed. Right, she can't use her powers in here, can she? Not on anything else, no. 
All right, so we need to use her visions to figure out the rest of this, though. Barracuda, he is a cool villain. I agree. All right, so we need to use the items that we found to keep uh, figuring this out. Let's see, what else have we got here? Uh, the gold watch and the... this. All right, so that's the... the uh, broken glass one. Broken glass one is the brothers. Or the siblings. All right. All right, so that's the George siblings. And that's the circle. Put that there. Now, what was the... God, I've already forgotten what the uh, phrase for that one was. Your blood will save him was that one. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so we can do that one. Uh, your blood will save him. That'll go right here. Alright, two down, two to go. Let's see, what's the one with the spike stripe? I th that one was you bleed, he breathes. I remember that one. And then, whose trap was it? The coffin trap? Yeah, that was the coffin trap. So that means the other one must be blood buys him time. This one doesn't fit. No, sorry, wrong. Blood buys him time. And... Iron Maiden. Whew, all right. Is that still sure you were the one in control? Huh. A little creepy. Uh, let's make another save. All right. The wall trap. Ah! <laughs> All right, um, powers? Powers. Consider this. There is a Max figurine. It's in a place only Cordelia would know. Anything? He talked to me. He says the next one is Max's, and that only you would know where it is. Damn you, Keith. Can you give me one thing straight? Let's look around to see if my memory triggers. All right, let's switch over to her then. The first time I saw them, I panicked, remembering what he put Max and me through. That was Erica's brother's trap. I went there that night to stop it, but I was too late. The first time I saw them, I panicked, remembering what he put Max and me through. The first time I saw... Alright, um... Do I have to go upstairs? Probably have to go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, she is kind of not the one to be complaining about cryptic stuff. This is true. That's where he was when I captured him. I don't want to go in there. It brings up memories I'd rather forget. All right, maybe we'll have Erica go in there then. Max would spend hours there. Maybe this is what Keith meant. This was Max's favorite place in the house. Now we need to put out the fire to search through it. All right, Erica, you're up then. What do we got in here? Nothing like stuck in your own crime scene kit with everyday household items. Hey. Any wounds I'm likely to get today will need more than a band-aid. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. This could come in handy. 
Sure, weapons. This could come in handy. Empty clip, interesting. Rubbing alcohol. Not interested, especially if it's his. Gross. All right, nothing else to see in here then. I was hoping we could just get some water out of the sink, but apparently that's asking for too much. Um, there's nothing else to see in here. Can't leave. What is this though? That must have been really hard for her. Whoa! 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 Whoa, no! Oh, God! <laughs> wow! Okay! Uh... Jesus! <laughs> I was looking away for a second. I didn't catch it at first, but, uh... That's how I think. Every time I start empathizing with another person's pain, uh, just all of my bones start spinning. What happened? Her character model glitched out and, like, her head and her arms just started spinning wildly, contorting in bizarre ways. Jeez. Jeez, that was horrific. <laughs> I'm gonna save because now I'm getting nervous. Um, what else? Let's let's switch to her. See if she gets any visions here. She does not. Um, alright. Let's see, is there anything else she can do in here? She can look at the mantelpiece. We were happy. Daddy with Senator Aaron Light. So, uh, yeah, powerful dude. Interesting. No visions here, though. LTG, thank you for the clip. Chinenin, thank you for the clip as well. Oh my god. If anybody missed that horror show that just happened, check out one of those. That was terrifying. Good god. Can Erica look at those? She can. They look... happy. This must be Cordelia's father with someone important. Alright, can she use her powers here? She cannot. What? Oh, empty cup. I thought this had an empty clip for some reason. I need a better reason to do that. Alright, so we don't have any reason to do that, but we might need to do that later. <laughs> Casey, I thank you for the clip as well! Oh my god. That was so terrifying. What the hell? Game, what the hell? Let's see, is there anything else in the bathroom? Can we use the cup to get a little bit of water? There is a sink here. So this is what a serial killer family sink looks like. Pretty similar to everyone else's. Emperor, thank you for clipping that as well. I, I would want to keep that as well if I was watching. There we go. There, we got some water. Let's put that fire out. This should help. Now let's look. I found Max, I think. You can keep it. I thought you liked his games. I never did. That was the problem. All right. We got figure number two. Let's head back down to the basement. That would have been the perfect Halloween moment. That would have freaked me out even more. Was that a couple holding? That was a lot of water. I'll give you that. So I got the max figure in. Uh, no, that doesn't work. All 
Oh, do I need to put it down on the board? Maybe. All right, hang on. Back out of this. All right. We need to combine them, right? We need a third one before we can get a read on it, though. All right, so can she get any read here? No, her powers don't give us anything. All right. We need another figurine here, right? What do we do? We don't have anything else that goes in there. Do we need to search around the house a little bit more? Possibly? I've asked for an EC Unity playthrough. I would like to play some more Assassin's Creed. Oh my god, Sword Art Online? That's a little terrifying. Read, can't get a read on it. I heard that in my head as soon as I said it. My apologies. Alright, so there's nothing else to be seen in here. And we can't leave the building either. She can't use her powers on anything. It's gotta be something to do with the mantle here. We were happy. I can't use her powers. Eric, he can't use hers. Um, or actually, here, can we use the magnifying glass in either of these? This is not going to work with this. This is not. No, I can't use the magnifying glass there. Can we use the razor blade here? Erica, no. That photo means a lot to me. Don't do anything to it unless you can prove to me that it's important here. Oh, God damn it! I need a better reason to do that. I can't cut open the pictures unless uh, I can prove to her that I need to. Somehow. Oh, what else do we have here? Let's see, all the rest of these are just the killer's items. Probably another anime adaptation? That would make sense. Uh, let's see. Anything going on on the phone? It's a hint system. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to need this for anything else anytime soon. I don't need to look at my calendar right now. It doesn't look like anything else. Um. Hmm. Yeah, God forbid we consider the feelings of a serial killer. I mean, I, I still gotta work on it. I'd worry about her shaking me for mine or something. Look, Cordelia, you've seen my visions. You know whenever anyone asks me to prove anything is important, it's important. Come on. Ooh, hang on. What do they post? I'm always up for seeing what the Sam and Max folks are up to. Oh, that's so good! Kaiju Sam and Max, that's amazing. Dude, I love it. Alright, um... I can't believe I'm doing this. Once I know who's in danger, I'll turn her in. Right, let's see if we can talk to her. I feel there must be a clue in that Max figurine you found. Alright, can we go back down there and look at it? I guess I didn't get a good look at it before. Max. Cordelia's brother. Alright, what if she takes a look at it? She cannot take a look at it. That's frustrating. I can pick it back up again. <sighs> I 
It's badly burned. There's something written on it, but it's way too small for me to read. Oh, well, luckily, we have a magnifying glass. It says, find a light in the darkness. Any ideas? No, but I can look around and see if I remember anything. All right, let's do that then. Switch over to hers, head upstairs. Ugh, find a light in the darkness. There's not a lot to look at up here. Let's see, is it one of these pictures, maybe? Daddy, with Senator Aaron Light. Oh, Senator Light. That makes sense. That's Daddy. Things would be so different if he was still around. He's with Senator Aaron Light. Good man. She had a niece. Davies did. She loved her to pieces. When she was around, you could almost see Davies smile. Maybe she wasn't perfect, but she didn't deserve what you did to her. Even if she didn't help you when she could have, even if you went to prison. Maybe she didn't deserve her rank, but everyone deserves to live. Daddy would have said that. He liked people that did good. He said the Senator's last name was not a coincidence. Wait. Aaron Light. A light. Look for a light. Keith, you tricky little... Erica, look at this. Did he hide it there? Only one way to find out. All right, let's cut that open. Here, let me take a look. Ugh. I'd be very eager to kill him if I were you. My job is justice, not revenge. I'm not like you. We'll see, when the two of you are face to face. All right, so we got an Erica figurine. Let's see if we can take a closer look at that. Kane's figurine of me. Fucking creepy. I don't see a clue there. Um, can't use her powers on it. Can't combine it with anything. She has the max figurine. I'll offer what help I can in determining where the figurines go. Even if we put them all in place, we can combine them. Three is the magic number right there. You're on Cordelia's side? I, I, I can understand that. I don't agree with it, but I can understand it at least. Hey, Cordelia, anything else you think is too precious for me to touch? Lives are on the line! Yeah, why didn't we add a fancy hat? I will say his Warhammer painting skills are very impressive. I bet the guy would be incredible at gunplay. Was that the special Max in Carbonite Limited Edition? Ooh, worth so much to eBay. Hey, Mana, welcome in. How are you doing today, Mana? Hope you're doing well. There's one missing. This must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. All right, don't worry. I've got some ideas here. Put the Max figurine in as well. All right? Maybe? Do we have to... Can we do it? All right, we can do it from here. There's one missing. This must be... Yeah, I, I know. I know. It's fine. Let me look at that. That. And that together. Erica's dead. Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck? Dad! No. No! You knew about this! No, but I know where they are now. I just saw it. Shit. They must have followed me. Not so fast. You need to get me out of here. I can leave through the back, but you have to help me. Oh, shit. Go! You'll need this. Bring McAdams to Mount Auburn Cemetery. Where Scott died? We'll save your dad. He's one of the good guys.
What were you doing back there? That doesn't matter. You have to listen to me. If you are not going to answer my questions, save it for your attorney, Reed. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's make a save real quick, and then we gotta figure out some way to get through this. Hopefully, we can earn his trust. I think that'd probably be the best strategy here. Uh, let's see. Can we use our powers? That probably would be ill-advised. Let's not do that if we don't have to. Um. We're still on the back roads. The highway is another few miles away. If I'm going to get out of here or convince him to let me go, I need to do it before then. See if we can earn his trust a little bit. I've really done it this time. How the hell am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get him to come with me, willing to know? McAdams. What? Um... Yeah, right. He's not going to listen to a word I have to say as long as he's in control of this situation. I need to get out of these cuffs and into that driver's seat. Somehow. Oh, is that all? Can we stop for a minute? I'm getting car sick. I wasn't born yesterday, Reed. Suck it up. Jerk. I also wasn't born deaf. <laughs> or blind. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, Caltrop? It's very sharp. Um, how do we? Do you mention she's got cuffs on? Can we use Caltrop on cuffs? I don't actually see that anywhere. Um,. <laughs> Show him your badge! He took my badge! He has my badge! Um. Ugh. McAdams locked the windows. Only he can roll it down. Yes, that's how cop cars work. Not with the window closed. Uh, Alright. McAdams. What? Mind rolling the window down? Your cologne's killing me here. Fine. There we go. What are you doing? Trying to stretch. You might not know this, but sitting in a car in cuffs, not very comfortable. Hmm. I need some noise in here. That could help distract McAdams. If only I could get it turned on. <laughs> McAdams, can we have the radio? I'm bored. <laughs> We're not gonna stab him, Emperor. I have a cop car? I can lock the rear windows. I mean, it's a child lock, too. That's it's true. That is true. Uh, let's see. <laughs> We're not gonna kill him. McAdams. What? Fine, you win the quiet game. Turn on the radio, at least. Your comfort is not my concern at this point. Why don't we talk about what you did to Cordelia Smith, then? You want to discuss that? Because I could spend the whole ride talking about it. Fine. Radio it is. All right. Shit. What the fuck was that? I do not need this right now. What are you? What, what are you? Stop! Believe it or not, I really am sorry, but I don't have time for this. We are going to turbo jail over this. Are you fucking insane, Reed? Let me out of these cuffs now! I can't do that, McAdams. Kane is out there, and if I don't bring you to her, he's going to kill my father. What the hell are you talking about? McAdams, I... Save it. 
I have no interest in anything you have to say at this point, Reed. You attacked a federal agent. You tortured a man and almost killed him to get information. And now you handcuff your supervisor? How the fuck do you think this is going to end? I didn't want it to go down like this, McAdams. If you'd just trusted me, if you'd ever trust anyone, we wouldn't even be in this situation. That's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You haven't trusted me since Scott was kidnapped, if ever. But if you'd actually given Cordelia Smith a chance, a lot of people might still be alive today. Reed, goddammit! Anyone that pulls half the shit you've pulled over these years would have been fired on the spot. You still had your job because Davies and I knew you were a good agent. My job requires me to do things by the book. You don't like the book. I get that. But what I've done, I've done to protect you. And your life will be much easier the minute that you understand that I'm not your enemy. What do you know about Cordelia Smith? I know the truth. I know what you did. Ignored her, arrested her, the cover-up, all of it. You refuse to stop living in the past, Reed. Mistakes happen. They may be tragic, but there's no going back. All right, we're gonna try and gain his trust here, because that's important. You're right. There's no change in the past or bringing back the people you've lost or wronged. The best anyone can do is learn from it. If it happened again today, I'd do things differently. I'm sorry for what happened to that woman, but there's nothing I can do about it now. You aren't the only one who lost someone you cared about. I know you're still hung up on me because of Jetta. You think I don't regret how that went? Wouldn't you still be looking for Stelios if John hadn't killed him that night? The difference is that I wouldn't have gone out on a personal vendetta. You have too much responsibility for the people you've sworn to protect to be acting like that. The minute we make it personal is when we risk the lives of those who count on us. Yeah, he attacked us last episode, so, you know. There is that. Yeah, Emperor, you remember. You attacked us, what the heck? <laughs> Why do you keep dwelling on the past? It's literally my superpower. Kiss, how are you doing today? I hope everything's going good with you. Let's see, this is why cop cars have barriers between, uh, behind, between, behind, driver. It's true, this isn't like a cop car, though. It's an FBI car, so... I imagine they don't usually do that. Look, I'm just asking you to listen. I'm not crazy. Kane is back out there, and he will kill my father if I don't hurry. And what makes you so certain of any of that? The man's been a ghost for three years now. Are you sure this isn't your feelings clouding your judgment once again? Oh, that's a, this is a big one. This is a very big one. <sighs> Chat, what do you think? I want to hear what you guys think about this one. I mean, on one hand, if he is trustworthy, getting him in on this could be a big help. On the other hand, he is a giant piece of shit who attacked us in the previous episode. And we are 100% certain covered up a murder. Well, I'm not sure we should even attempt to trust him. But I think he's right about uh, keeping us on the job because we do regularly break the law. Do you trust a serial killer or do you trust your dickbag boss? One that has been impeding you the entire time? I'm just not sure we, how much we can get accomplished without him on our side is my concern here. Can we save here? Is the game going to let me save? The game is not going to let me save here, of course. He covered up a murder? Yeah, in the uh, Max Smith murder. He knew that the evidence didn't add up, and yet he put Cordelia in prison anyway, because that was the easy way to go about it. Basically, he had the uh, his boss and the media breathing down his neck, so he's like, oh yeah, she's the killer. We, we caught the killer, everything's fine now. So he wasn't doing it for, like, evil reasons, just really selfish, lazy reasons, I suppose. That's not helping much, is it? 
buried evidence versus literal murder? This is true. See, I don't think it's a question between trusting him and trusting Cordelia. We might be able to get both of them a little bit. I'm going to try trusting him here. I really think having his help could be a big thing, and I want to believe he's a decent guy under all of the being a piece of shit. He did apologize. He did point out he's probably been protecting us in his own way. Oh, Shira, I appreciate that. I hope I've earned that. But so did Nishka. That's true. But I'm sure she would have a lot of nice things to say about me if she wasn't dead right now. Don't remember how that happened, though. Oh, there's a poll going on. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> well, I see the, uh... <laughs> I see the poll. <laughs> I see the poll has a uh, runaway choice right here. <laughs> EP, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> Chat, I see you're inclined towards a certain option there. I, I can respect this. <laughs> Rin, is it full of them or does it just have one very particular one that you have a very particular grudge against? <laughs> Is Thor 2 really not that bad? It's not terrible, but it's very unmemorable. It's got like a couple of good scenes, but a lot of it's kind of boring and unnecessary. Like, I like the whole scene with Loki in the prison. That was really cool. Basically, any scene where Thor is talking to Loki is really good. Um, and any scene where Thor is not talking to Loki is not great. It's very meh. It's very meh is the problem. If I can actually see half of the movie, why? What happened? Are you, are you just go blind? Do you have like psychosomatic blindness towards Thor two in the dark world? That's kind of wild. <laughs> it's a very long poll, but I don't want to make a choice until the poll is closed because it's important that I get the will of chat for this one. <laughs> It is. I would definitely probably put it in my bottom three for the Marvel movies. Like I said, there's nothing, like, offensively bad about it. It's just... It's... It, it's it doesn't grab me. There's there's nothing super compelling about it, is the thing. Aside from a couple of cool conversations. <laughs> there is that, too. That's true. Alright, so, if anybody hasn't seen the uh, running gag here, there's... There's a mention of a London tube station in the movie that doesn't actually exist. They make a very brief, very inconsequential mention of a London tube station that isn't actually part of the actual London underground system. And certain people in chat, certain certain personalities in chat have taken this incredibly personally. Thor 2, the made-up tube stop. I'm telling you, they're predicting the future right there. Or maybe it's just a tube stop in the Marvel Universe, you know? It doesn't take place in our universe. There's differences in the Marvel Universe. There's no Daily Bugle in our world either. How about that, huh? How about that? How about that? Checkmate. Shane, I was in a cinema 500 meters away from that station. Holy shit, feeling the entire theater. Lose the suspension of discipline is fucking weird. That actually makes a lot of sense. I've, I've seen that before where you're in that movie theater, just the entire audience's uh, uh, feeling towards the movie shifts rapidly. Hey, Ball Blair, welcome in. How are you doing today? How's your weekend going? Hope everything's going good with you. Thor 3 is amazing. I love Thor 3. Me check. Alright, poll is almost done. If you have strong opinions on this one way or the other, feel free to throw it in. Some of the tube stations do have silly names, this is true. Also, Warrington Crescent is an amazing game, and I'm the best at it. Don't challenge me, you will lose. Now, yeah, Ragnarok is excellent and has Gold Bloom. I think those two are closely connected. Alright, the poll has ended, and uh, but given the choice to trust... Don't trust or Thor 2 the Dark World. Chad has overwhelmingly chosen to Thor 2 the Dark World. We're just gonna trust him. 
I know because Cordelia Smith is the one behind every killing, and the Kane killer is her brother Keith Smith, a.k.a. Jeff Therian. How can I believe you given the way you've been acting? You shot John! That was an accident. You're FBI. Your job doesn't allow for accidents. Fine. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. You found this information at the towers? Yes, there's more. I'd rather do this with your help, McAdams, but I'm doing it either way. Keith Smith has been missing and presumed dead for six years. What a better way to get away with murder. He forced Cordelia to kill Max after learning he wasn't their biological brother. She took the blame, and he was free to disappear and keep killing. Think about it, McAdams. He fits the profile. Caucasian male, 25 to 45, highly intelligent, obsessed with his work, plenty of reasons to be hung up on close sibling relationships. Shit. Then where the hell has he been for the last three years? Chained up in the basement of the Enthon Towers. What? So what's it gonna be? Fine. If it'll bring them in and save your father, you've got my help. I have to warn you. Cordelia wants you dead. I can take care of myself. How do you know where the hell you're heading? Cordelia told me. You just told me this woman is a murderer. And she's also a victim of your negligence. Are you justifying her, Reed? No, McAdams. I know what my job is. I'm just saying that sometimes things aren't as black and white as I wish they were. Not even in that book of yours. This is a very cinematic episode. I'm not disliking it. You came. I told you I'd help. You brought him. What do you want with him? That is between him and me. Don't we have something better to do than chat about this? You're right. Let's go. We're wasting time. And we're back at the graveyard so we're from episode with one. Killer now, Reed. Is that your big plan? Listen, she brought me here. I feel I can trust her intentions. He's down there. If we want to save your father, we'll have to play his game. We'll have to let him capture us. Otherwise, the outcome... I can't see it ending well. How is that a good plan at all? We'll have a chance. I see these sorts of things, remember? You have to trust me. You'll betray me. You've seen that one too? I told you, the future is a fickle thing. I do want to help you, Erica, but I am who I am. I make no promises about what happens down there. The same. I can't promise what I'll do after my father is safe. Are you ready? Will you keep my father safe? I'll handle Kane. You're too invested in this, Erica. I'll do my job, McAdams. But I know Kane better than you do. Fine. But I'll be there if you screw up. Oh, jeez, no pressure. Dad! He's alive, still. Why do you have to bring a full party? It makes things more... difficult. Let him go, you bastard! Didn't you get enough with Scott? No. I've been waiting too long to finish this. And it has to be done right. Cordelia, would you tie Erica to this? And if you try anything, I will shoot someone, and that might be you. Apologies, Agent. Well, this is going great so far. Make sure those are tight. Did you take her weapon? Yes. And his? You don't need to worry about him. He's my problem. Take care of him. Stand over there where I can see you both. You wanted to copy me eventually, Cordelia. Isn't that right? Kill me? The same I kill? I never wanted to kill you, Keith. No. You just made me wish I was dead. The Cordelia I loved, she would never be so cruel. You changed everything when you made me kill Max. 
And we're here now and can't even talk the way we used to. That connection only you and I had. I don't want you dead, but for this to stop, you have to die. It's a mystery to me what goes on in your beautiful brain sometimes, but I have a theory. What will you do after I'm dead? I never mourned over Max's death, but... But you do have a conscience, Cordelia, and you've been suppressing it so you could act freely. But when it wakes up, when moms and dads and Max's memory awaken you, there won't be a swift death that will allow your brain to cope with what you've done to get here. Your domino effect failed, just as I knew it would. Agent Reed never killed me. And so, who will kill me now, sister? It won't be you. We both know that your conscience wouldn't let you. Exactly my thoughts. And Erica Reed, I've learned so much about you over the years. Now we finally get to be properly introduced. I'm curious to know how much pain you can endure. As I push this lever, this spike will move towards you. If you scream, if you do so much as whisper, I will press this at full speed in the other direction, over to your father. It will kill him instantly. What do you get from all this? It's a subject that's always interested me, these human connections of love and family, because the only time I felt a connection to her, she preferred someone else. So, shall we begin the experiment? It's not an experiment. You're just gonna murder me. Right, let's go ahead and save here. Let me get caught up on shit, by the way. Uh, yeah, basically that's the thing. Is McAdams is our boss. He let Cordelia's brother... Or basically he put Cordelia in jail for a, a crime he was pretty sure she didn't commit, but he didn't want to look into it any further. He was lazy, he was selfish, and she blamed him for that. At least they're better at their job than Hopkins. It's a low bar to clear, Gamagoom. Oh my god. Everyone's so good at knocking people out in this game. <laughs> I have a theory. A game theory. Oh god, there's a crossover I don't need. <laughs> I have a theory. The Big Bang Theory. The music starts. <laughs> yeah, seriously, go to therapy. Don't become a serial killer. What's wrong with you? All right. Um, we use our powers here. No, we can't touch anything, so that would make sense. Um, let's not say anything to dead just yet. Um. Oh, we have to say something here, but I'm not sure what to say. Cordelia, please help me! I said silence! I'll let this one pass. Do it again, and it's over for your father. Shit. Um... I have to find a way to stop him. This doesn't look good. It really doesn't. Um... I have to find... I can't reach it! Yeah, we can't touch anything here. Um... Did we hit him? Uh, uh, damn it! Your choice. Oh, that didn't no. work. <laughs> oh, that, that was a bad idea. Not a good idea when he's watching me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, that was drastic. Uh, <laughs> Epson chat, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> Was 
Was that a hint? I think that was a hint, which clearly we need one here. Consequences? For my actions? Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can distract him. Dad, do it now! Aha! McAdams! McAdams! McAdams, are you okay? We have to go after him. Cordelia? Cordelia, what are you doing? I... He let Max die. No, Cordelia. You can't make him responsible for the actions of your brother. He could have tried. He could have listened to me. I... Can't change what happened, Miss Smith. But killing me won't bring your brother back. You could have done more! You're right. He was lazy and he didn't do his job. But please don't do it! But I want the closure. I want peace! Listen to what your brother told you. Listen to your fucking conscience. I... I can't. Whew. All right. Yeah, she didn't actually call him the Are you hurt? I'll live. Stay with my dad. I'm gonna catch Kane. Catch her, too. Not getting away this time. You think I didn't search these tunnels a hundred times already trying to find you? Uh. How can he just vanish without a trace? We've been searching this place forever, Red. I think we've reached the dead end here. Hey, listen, kid. You're exhausted. You haven't slept in days. I can't give up, John. I have to find whoever did this. We'll keep searching, Erica. We'll find him. But let's go home tonight. You need some rest, kid. Ah! Oh, -ho. son of a bitch. Secret passageway. Oh, I can't save here. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> now, don't forget that Keith is basically the saw killer. So it, it makes sense that he would build a secret trapdoor right there. How many tra does traps his family make? He makes a lot of them. Oh my god. It's all he does, basically. Alright, um... I can't 
Reach it. Uh, all right. So what do these do? Nothing. It must be broken. Whoa! Oh, that's a bad one. Raises that one. I can't raise one platform when another's already up. Oh, weird. It won't engage. Maybe it depends on the way Erica is balanced in the trap. Interesting. Oh god! It controls the chain's position. Is that a good thing? Do we want that? Uh. I can't raise one platform when another's already up. You see what we're trying to do? I'm not sure. I definitely don't want to get skewered, I know that much. I've got a guess, actually. Um. It won't engage. Maybe it depends on the way Erica is balanced in the trap. All right, hang on. Did I almost have it before? Let's see. It locks the crane's rotation. It's locked. Interesting. I wasn't 100% sure. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I had to check! The perspective's weird. The perspective's weird. I wasn't 100% sure. It's okay. It's okay. We made progress. We made progress, I think. Alright. It controls the chain's position. Alright, so we lever over there. Raise that up. Get the chain it lock. Locks the crane's rotation. It's locked. Up that. Nothing. It must be broken. Can't raise that. It won't engage. Maybe it depends on the way Erica is balanced in the trap. Oh, I see what we're doing. Hang on. I see what we're doing. It locks the crane's rotation. It's loose. I think this won't work as long as the platform is up. Why? I think this won't work. I think this won't work. Oh, come on. I thought that was what we're supposed to do. Um. That was what we did before, wasn't it? Oh, that's what we got to do, right? Maybe? There we go. Alright, that's what we got to do. We hit the chain lock, drop it down. Gotta get closer! I can't reach it! We gotta get closer! Is it gonna come down? Ah, Cordelia, what the hell are you doing? 
I need to know the numbers, Erica. Act fast. Act fast. Do it. I can't reach it. Pull me back. Pull me back now. Oh, I listened it. I should be able to reach it now. Ready? All right, we're going to try again. Erica, hurry up. I'm trying, damn it. You don't have much time. Yeah, just shut up and let me do this. I'm pulling you back. No, wait, I almost got it. It's seven, five, three. Now pull me back. Did that do it? <laughs> Hang on. Whew. Oh, shit. Oh, Keith, stop it. Ugh. Um. Nice! Mortal Kombat! Didn't work. Extra mm. gear. Uh. Take out his knee. Finish him. I'll be with you in a second. Erica, no. You are not like me. <sighs> oh, shit. Uh, Cordelia. <sighs> no. You will be an angel among those like us. And you were right about my conscience, Keith. Oh, jeez. Oh, Quite the happy ending I was hoping for there. Alex is playing Good welcome in. There, Reed. I'll drop any charges against you. But this time, I can't shield you from internal affairs. You'll have to speak to them before coming back. I know I'll have to deal with them still, but... I'm not coming back. Did this break you? I've done some thinking, and I'm not cut out for this job. I've butted heads with the Bureau too many times to keep ignoring it. And it's too much of a reminder of my worst mistake. I shot John. Learn from it, but don't dwell on it. I can't say that I'll miss you, but I meant what I said before. I was never your enemy. I know. I don't hold it against you. Stay out of trouble, Reed. Of course I won't.
You finally caught him. Now what? I don't know, Dad. I'm just glad that it's over. I thought I had lost you, too. You were here, but for a while now, you've been even further away than Scotty. And I've been no better. Dad, there are a lot of things you don't know about me. You're right. For how close we used to be, we've practically been strangers since that night. I think we tried to cope with his death in our own separate ways, but we've never really tried together. I'd like to change that. I think it would make Scotty happy. I think it would too. Goodbye, Scotty. I think I owe you this. You do. One exactly. I heard you're leaving the force. So who's gonna bring me donuts now? I hear Sully knows a great place. Shouldn't you be in the hospital? John's alive! My mama said. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Woo! Yeah, something like that. Look, I'm sorry, kiddo. I really am. I guess we're even now. I don't blame you, John. Cordelia's power made her crazy. She was tortured over the things she saw, over her loss. I don't want to be that person. And I felt so close to the edge so many times. So is that what you're doing? Trying to get it under control? Maybe. For now, I just want to spend some time with my dad. And then, who knows? Rose told me that there are others out there like me, other scions. If I can do anything to help those people, I must. Cordelia could have been saved. She didn't need to go down that path. I'm gonna miss you, Skippy. I'm sure you can find another rookie to train. I'm not exactly the best role model out there, Erica. You were the only person that tried to help Cordelia at all. You believed in me because of what happened with her. That says something. And besides, the only reason I'm the best is that you trained me. Oh, damn it! Ugh. So he's alive at least. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Cognition. If you walked in through that door, so real quick, Alex is playing. Thank you so much for the raid. As you can see, you caught us literally going into the ending right there. So I apologize about that. But how are you doing today, Alex? If you're still around, what were you playing? How did it go? Tell me everything. And also welcome in to... Uh... Trisk, welcome into you as well. Hope you are doing good. Thanks for joining us. I guess that's a GG, I suppose. That's pretty heartbreaking, though. <laughs> that twist was showing John's lighter is really cool. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they jerked me around, definitely, but overall, it was pretty cool. Cryostasis! Dude, I know Cryostasis! That is a cool game! It has some serious technical problems these days, but if you got it running, Alex, more power to you. That is a cool game. I hope you're having a great uh, time with it. I had to find a physical copy at eBay, pure 2008 PC vibes. I'm still lucky enough to have a Steam copy. I managed to get a copy on Steam before they delisted it. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I hope you're enjoying it. It's, it's very inventive. It, it, you can see how it inspired some horror elements you see today, which is really good. Just gotta save every 30 minutes you do. You really do. Chris, thank you so much for the posture check. I'll do that while I'm here. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> oh. So yeah, what did you folks think of the game? I would love to hear your opinions on this. I think you know my opinions. I thought this was awesome. This game was fantastic. Cool music, as you're hearing right now. Uh, some very fun puzzles, especially in that last one. They had some pretty intense puzzles there. 
Um, voice acting was good. Nothing special, but it was competent enough. I liked the art style. You could tell, obviously, they were working in a budget, but I thought it was pretty neat. A lot of Jane Jensen games end like this, with the main character leaving behind the organization. They do! Technically, Jane Jensen didn't write this one. She was a story consultant, so I don't know how much control she had over it. But, yeah, that definitely does feel like her, doesn't it? I get, I get that feeling. One of my favorite game designers right there. Two thumbs up. I love it. I love it. Game of Gumbo kind of a miss for me. Not your jam. Fair enough. Fair enough. It definitely was very gory. I can see that too. Uh, John, cool game. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Chris, you liked it. Zenpachi, I like how messy it was. Honestly, that was kind of the charm for me, but you know, I'm kind of biased in that respect. I love a messy game. I think some characters were very rational for the purpose of moving the plot forward. They were, kind of. <laughs> You're not wrong there, Ball Blair. I just wonder if there's other endings. Honestly, I'm kind of curious, too. Like, what if we hadn't trusted McAdams? What if we hadn't earned the trust of uh, Cordelia? What had happened then? I'm a little curious about that. Let's see, DB Cert, you would have liked that as well. I'm, I'm curious about that. I am. Punisher, I'm glad you liked watching it. She we didn't get to date Cordelia? She's a murderer! Even if she'd survived, we would have been sending her to jail. She killed two people and maimed another one. That's... We're not just going to send her off into the sunset after that. No, no, no. No. That would be a lot of extra work. It's true. It's true. Well, it's fault the studio had a lot of potential. Would have been interesting to see if any more had gone on. They did apparently say they wanted to do a second season, which is why this is called an Erica Reed thriller. Uh, but I don't think it sold well enough to justify it. Or maybe they lost too much money working on Silver Lining. I don't know. One of the things I mentioned is once I before I started this, I looked into what Phoenix Online is doing right now, and the honest answer is I don't know. They haven't put out a game in years, and if you look at their Twitter, all they do is tweet screenshots of old LucasArts games. Are they working on something right now? Is it related to one of their existing IPs? I, I don't know. Honestly, my gut's telling me no, but I don't know for certain. But like I said before, I will keep to this. If they make another Erica Reed game, I'll buy it. Simple enough, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, here's hoping. Like, I, I want to give these people my money, I do. <laughs> if they give me the opportunity to give, give them my money, I will. I will, they've certainly earned that much. Thank you, Paylor. I appreciate that. At least two endings. Ooh, that is juicy. That is pretty cool. Books, you'd buy another one as well. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's cool. Is it perfect? No. Is it the best adventure game I've ever played? Not really. But it was good. I enjoyed my time spent with it. I'd want to spend more. Oh, well, as it works with AMD, I'm so sorry about that word. That is frustrating as hell. She's a murderer, yeah, and we can fix her, I swear we can, Zenpachi, no! <laughs> Don't go into the light, Zenpachi! <laughs> we, did, we do have $10 worth of VCR money, that's true. <laughs> Ball player, I love detective games too, I do. We've got so many more I want to play. I love a good detective game. This worked well, this worked well. I had some good twists and turns in there. You think an official game company Twitter would at least say, hey, we're not making games anymore? I think most companies don't ever want to say that because they keep hoping they'll be able to turn things around. So, you know, you, you want to give the good news, you don't ever want to give the bad news. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. I, I'm with you there. And there we got the final ending instead of a to be continued right there. Sorry, I missed the beginning. Do it again, please. Thanks. I, and I'll put up the bot on YouTube. Will that work follows? Please tell me that's good enough. <laughs> I also would have liked to see more decisions made in episode one or two to lead to result in three or four. See, the problem there, as Bioware learned out, is that is very expensive. Because then you need to make this giant tree, and the more games you make, the more that tree spans out, and the more scenes you need to make, and the more scenes you need to make, the more scenes you're making that most players will never see. Like, I read a big article with uh, a bunch of game designers talking about how why you don't see insane secrets like the inverted castle in uh, Symphony of the Night anymore. is because it's difficult to justify adding things to games that the majority of players will never see. And I respect that. I don't necessarily like it. I don't think anybody here likes that. But I respect it at least. 
Budgeting is hard. Linear games are difficult enough. It's true. Simple, straightforward games fail for budgetary reasons all the time. Making insanely complex, uh, you know, decision-based game. That's so hard. One of the hardest things out there, I might even argue. Let's see. What was your favorite episode? That's a hard one. That is challenging. Um, two was really good. Wise Monkey was pretty interesting. Honestly, episode four was pretty good, too. Had an exciting story. Had some very cool puzzles. I don't know. I might be leaning towards four there. But, of course, I did just play that right now, so I might be a little biased. Brock the Investigator did just that. I bet 90% of the players didn't see more than half the scenes. It's hard to justify knowing that, you know? It's It's tough. But what if I want irrationally long load scenes for me to run through the level of long time? <laughs> then fall alls, I say chase your dreams. Chase your dreams, fall alls. <laughs> I hadn't actually heard of Brock the Investigator. I'm going to have to look into that after this. Yeah, 3 had that puzzle with the uh, necklace that made no sense whatsoever. That was my least favorite puzzle in the... In the series. That's why I'm holding off on the Saiyan 3. I liked the the fact that 3 took place inside of one location. I thought that was neat. And the way you switch back and forth between the past and the present. I thought that was really cool too. But there was a couple puzzles in there that were weak enough that holds me back from Saiyan 3. Yeah, see, there are some games out there where you say, you know, you can play it multiple times, but a lot of players don't do that. Like, even if a game supports it, it makes it really fun to do multiple... Excuse me, multiple playthroughs. A lot of players just won't. I'm one of those people. I don't like doing multiple playthroughs of a game usually. I mean, obviously the exception is if I want to stream something, show off to you guys. But in my own time, I've got hundreds of games in my collection that I haven't played before. I don't want to replay one when I can be playing something new. That's just kind of how I am. Let's see. Brock is a beat-em-up point-and-click mashup. Your detective alligator. Investigator! I want to buy it just for the word investigator. That's how you've sold me, Ball Blair. The word investigator has got my attention. They can take my money. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, overall, cool game. And this worked very well, I think, as a good epilogue to our Jane Jensen series of games. Because, like I said, we play, already played all of the games that Jane Jensen was the proverbial showrunner on, that she did the writing and most of the directing on. So, you know, we got nothing more to look forward to there, but I know she was a story super, story consultant on this. Again, I don't know how much she influenced the game from that role, but I can tell you that this does have uh, Jane Jensen vibes. And if nothing else, it was nice playing a game with those Jane Jensen vibes, and I love her stuff. One of my favorite designers out there. I don't know if she'll ever make any games again. She seems pretty happy doing what she's doing, and if she is... She deserves happiness. Honestly, the games industry is not kind to her. But I appreciate all the games she's made, and if she ever does decide to make another game, I will buy it day one. If there is a Kickstarter, I will put a considerable amount of money into it. That's where I'm at on that. I, already, I actually did kick into the uh, Gabriel Knight Pinkerton Road Kickstarter, so I was there at least. I'm glad, Ball Blair. I appreciate having you with us. Does he wear a vest? That would complete the pun. <laughs> EP, you're excited for Jericho? Oh, it's going to be a beautiful disaster. I love that horrible, horrible game. And I will attempt to teach all of you a lot of things about game design by showing you how literally, literally every game design decision they made in that game is incorrect. <laughs> so many times they could have made a good decision and made something pretty interesting, but they didn't. They... They did so many bad things. It's going to be fascinating. And we're going to be starting on Clive Barker's Jericho tomorrow. That will also be our celebration of me finally hitting 3,000 followers on here. So, of course, thank all of you for hitting that follow button. Thank you for choosing to hang around my humble little stream and the strange, strange games that I choose to play. I appreciate each and every one of you being here for that. Thank you so much for that. Is the game really that bad? Yes. <laughs> it's charming in its way of being terrible, but I appreciate it. Shira, of course, the new guy here. We barely know you, but we appreciate having you here. 
Can't we just share my suffering? I am willing to share it. Take what you need. And yes, Rin is correct. Thank you for reminding me, Rin. I appreciate that. So don't forget tomorrow before the stream is daylight savings time in the United States. So the last three streams, it's appeared to start an hour early if you're outside of the United States. Tomorrow we'll be back to the regular time. Because before the stream starts, will be daylight savings time for the U.S. So please be aware of that. Um, I apologize again. Time, uh, time uh, change shenanigans are always frustrating for uh, streamers. I assure you, it drives me nuts. For everybody, nobody likes time change stuff. It's horrible. Uh, but I will love to see all of you tomorrow if you want to be here. If you don't want to be here for a game that is very gross, and it is a very gross game, I totally understand. Uh, but like I said, Jericho should only be about two streams, so we'll be back to some more uh, quality weird after that. I would love to have you there. Uh, so, as always, thank you for being here. This was this was a lot of fun, and I really appreciated all of you being here for uh, helping me with the puzzles when necessary, uh, chiming in on the running gags, making cool clips, voting for Thor 2 The Dark World for some reason. <laughs> I appreciate having you here, as always. But, of course, before we shut everything down, we do have one last thing to do. And as ever, that is... Let's see who all else is online right now. So, if you're not done watching Twitch for the day, maybe I can send you somewhere cool. So, of course, make sure to hit follow if you haven't already. That'll be the quickest way to find me tomorrow, or at any point, if you'd like to come back. I'd love to have you here. And while I am looking to see who all is online, there is some link to chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen it yet. We have a link to my Twitter if you'd like to get notified about the stream that way. We have a link to my YouTube if you'd like to see any games I've played in the past, or if you want to get caught up on uh, if you want to get caught up on Cognition, all the VODs are going to be going up there, so feel free to join us there. And we have a link to my Discord. If you'd like to chat with me or the rest of the community outside of the stream, everybody is welcome in there. So feel free to join us on that. And I think we might actually be able to read someone. I don't know that we've ever read it before, so this could be cool. They're usually ending right about here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. Let me make sure they're not like ending it. Yeah, let's roll the dice a little bit. Let's read someone I don't think we've ever rated before. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would love it if you would join me on a raid over to The Spider Cookie. Uh, she is a retro streamer. She plays a lot of point-and-click adventure games, like we were doing today. And today she is playing one of the most charmingly bizarre of all time, Mystery of the Druids. I'm hoping to play it someday, but if you want to check it out right now, feel free. It is something. I cannot even tell you. So why don't you join me over there, say hi to Spider Cookie, hang out for a little bit, throw her a follow if you like what she's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. I will see you folks tomorrow for Clive Barker's Jericho. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.